Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Karen, Lavender Clothesline, and today I actually have a clothing haul. I know it's just getting less and less frequent that I'm doing clothing hauls and more and more frequent that I am doing vintage hard good hauls. It seems to be that's what you guys are most interested in, but once in a while I find really amazing finds in clothing. So this past week I went to a couple of Goodwills and another mom and pop thrift store and the last trip that I made, which was, what is today? Today is Friday. I think I was out on Wednesday. I just had a funny feeling when I woke up. Now, let me just say, I'm not really a big believer in karma or not that I don't believe in it, but I woke up with the strangest feeling that I was supposed to go to the thrift store. And I don't usually get that feeling. I normally just do my own thing. You know, I have my routine, but as the day progressed, it seemed like there were more and more details getting in my way, but yet I had this calm, still feeling within me that I was going to find something good. And I just calmly got to the thrift store, I walked in with confidence, and boom, on the first rack, I'm gonna show you some of the items that I found. say thank you to everyone that has been following my channel. My channel continues to grow and I'm really humbled by that because most days it's all craziness and all fun and me just making it up as I go along. Now I do have some knowledge, I would hope, after six and a half, almost seven years on eBay, but a lot of days I'm just going with my gut. As I always tell you guys, I'm walking into thrift stores using my judgment and let's hope after this many years of going through thrift stores that I have some kind of judgment on what sells. But like I said, this past Wednesday, I walked into the store and looked at the first rack of clothing and boom, there I found my first piece that I am thrilled to show you, which is the Gigi by Johnny Was. This is a kimono jacket put out by Johnny Was. You guys know it's my favorite all-time brand to find from my own personal closet and for reselling. This is a velvet silk kimono and I just love Johnny Was. Beautiful quality, gorgeous detail. Look at, the, look at the patchwork fabric. This is silk velvet, so pretty. I'm gonna actually take it off of Betsy here. Betsy, we'll see you later. <laughs> Do you guys need your mannequins? She is definitely Betsy. Okay, so look at this fun find. Amazing. You know what? I'm actually gonna pull off this jacket, which is Massimo. Uh, Massimo is Target. That's my own personal. I'm getting ready to go out. I'm actually going to the restaurant where we're going to have the resellers meet up to touch base with the management there and let them know what kind of craziness is going to go on when we hit the restaurant. So right now we have, I think, 45 people signed up, which is amazing. I hope you guys are all able to make it and we still have room. I think they have moved us from the room that we were supposed to be into a bigger room. So very fun, very excited for the resellers meet up on February 27th, which is a Thursday evening at 6 p.m. at Loxley's Restaurant. You guys can go over to my Instagram and get all the details. If you aren't already signed up, I would love to have you join us. It's just all of us getting together, talking, reselling, and uh, everybody pays their own dinner and drinks. So I hope you can come on out. And like I said, over on my Instagram, Lavender Clothesline, you can find all the details. <music> That's where I'm going today too. <laughs> Boy, I just switched gears on you. All right, trying on the Johnny Was. Now this is a large. Johnny Was, in my opinion, is very oversized, so it runs a little bit big. I did actually own this Gigi at one time, and you know me, I wore it, I think once or twice and sold it, but this is the Gigi. Look how good this is. Gorgeous, gorgeous bohemian style. And what did I pay for this? I believe I paid $5 for it. I know, crazy. This should bring well over $100, so I was thrilled. But wait, there's more. That was the first piece that I found when I came into the store. And right beside it, look at this. Yep, Johnny Was again. I have never found two Johnny Was in a row. I don't know who's donating this, but please keep donating your Johnny Was. I will buy it all day long. Beautiful. Again, I believe it's a silk or a rayon velvet. 
all embroidered with a southwestern pattern. And I'm going to show you the tag on this one. So that's what it looks like. Now Johnny Was is a high-end name. When I go to the Mall in King of Prussia, Johnny Was is always first on my list to go into that store. Swoon, absolute swoon. Gorgeous, gorgeous clothing. So I found a second piece. Right there I could have gone home a happy camper, but wait, wait till you see what I found. Yep, the next I found two. So now I realize that these are not a private closet, but this is probably Johnny Was donations, I'm guessing. I think Johnny Was clothing is only sold at their retail stores. There's no outlet, as far as I know. There are catalog uh, finds, but I don't know that a private person would donate two of the same exact blouse. But look at this blouse. Okay, who votes I keep this? <laughs> Maybe it's too quiet for me. Maybe I need the brighter one that I showed, the blue velvet one. But this is the tag on this one. Show you that. How wonderful is this? It says Johnny was for jackets and tops. So I said yes to two exact blouses. And again, I paid, what did I pay in this store? Ooh, I should know this, tops, $4.50. $4.50 or $5. So I found two of them right in my cart they went. So right after the Johnny Was finds, now all of my senses are alerted. I am thinking, okay, there's really good stuff on this one rack. And I continue to look. When I find items that are really beautiful and something that I'm really thrilled to find, I scour the store. I take my time. I look at every rack because my feeling is if somebody donated that type of clothing, I want every piece I can get my hands on. And let me just tell you a little story. So my cart is filled. I got all of this clothing and then some. I was just over the moon happy and I'm walking down a hard goods aisle because I switched over to hard goods once I finished scouring the clothing. And I see a woman walking towards me, a very pretty lady, and her handbag was gorgeous. I could tell it was her personal handbag in the front of her card and I, you know me I talked to everybody so I said boy your handbag is pretty and I just guessed I said is that a Johnny Was handbag she goes no it's free people she said but funny you said that I did find a Johnny Was handbag and she showed me the most gorgeous handbag and for a split second I was almost jealous I have to admit it I mean evil heart <laughs> I just was like darn but then you know it hit me very quickly I just found such beautiful merchandise and I looked at her and I said good for you good find and that's how I think it should be I think we should celebrate when other people find beautiful items that are just pouring into our thrift stores so although I was jealous for half a second you know I had to question my motives I turned it around and told her how happy I was for her and like I said I think we should all be supporting one another in doing this so there's my little story would I have liked to have found the handbag yes <laughs> I'm greedy but really happy that she got it and it wasn't you know sent to the landfill that would have been horrible Okay, moving on. The next thing on the clothing rack, we're back to the clothing story, is naked cashmere, two of the exact same sweaters. I think I've died and gone to heaven. You know, everybody has their different interpretation of what heaven is like, I'm sure. Mine is probably not the norm. Mine are racks filled with Johnny Was and gorgeous clothing. I know, how, how lame is that? But um, yeah, my heaven's definitely having fashion in it that I love. So I said yes to these two sweaters, and I believe I paid $5.25. Naked Cashmere is a great brand. If you don't know this brand, you want to Google it. So that's what the tag looks like. So two of them. Yes, yes, please. The next item is an item that I don't pick up a lot of, but I felt this one was really good, and that is Indian clothing. When I find clothing, I hope I'm saying that correctly, you know, the saris and the different, um, I don't know how to pronounce it, le lehenge skirts or tops, I usually pass them by. Once in a while I pick them up if they're really pretty and I can use Coachella or Boho as keywords. But I pictured this next dress with a jean jacket, leggings, and maybe some crazy boots. So take a look at this. Isn't that beautiful? It's tone on tone, white on white. It's really an off-white. The whole thing is embroidered. And I really pictured somebody wearing this bohemian style, lag and look. You can look up all of those terms with a jean jacket or even worn as a nightgown, a nightshirt. I thought this was gorgeous. And like I said, it's all hand embroidered. 
So I said yes to this. I paid five, no, six twenty-five for this. And yeah, I just thought very free people-esque. Now it's not free people. This is the name, the tag. So I'll hold that still. And I really think that Indian clothing very much crosses over to boho. I know that's probably a concept that's not well received. I hope that's not insulting to anybody, but some of that clothing is just gorgeous. A lot of it handmade. Kudos to the people making those beautiful skirts and, and dresses. I like it with boots and a jean jacket and tassel earrings, so there's that. So this is Indian Kala for You. Um, heart and art of India. So I have not comped it. I really don't care. If this doesn't sell, this is going in my closet. Okay, so I stopped the camera to pull this rack a little bit closer and let's get on with the rest of the haul. This next item I've heard of, I don't remember how these sweaters do or this brand does. This is Colorworks. Now this could just be a mall store brand. I'm not exactly sure, but this is beautiful quality. I said yes to it. I think it's really good style-wise. I will run comps, and if it turns out to be a big nothing, well, then I'll just, you know, charge less for it. But look at the sleeves. It has like a whip, a braided whip stitch with a slit and little fringe tassels. Diamond pattern, really nice quality, size large. Look how cute this is. I love this. So I said yes to this sweater. The next item is a company that I pick up a lot of. I like finding larger sizes in this company, but if the size is not large, if the item is in great condition, nice style, I say yes to it. This is Sundance, and this is an extra large. Again, this might go into my closet before I list this, unless something's brand new. This looks, it's either brand new or it's only been worn once or twice, but um, beautiful cashmere Sundance sweater. Okay, so another story, ready for this? So I'm on one of the aisles and I see somebody I know. Hi Beth, how are you? I don't know if Beth watches my channel, but she is a lovely lady I love talking to. We talk all things, you know, merchandise. And so I'm trying to focus on Beth's face and talk to Beth and not be distracted by all the stuff around me. But over Beth's right shoulder, I see a jacket and I see somebody pick it up and my mind is off of the conversation with Beth and I'm willing the person to put the jacket down. I'm like, put the jacket down, put the, do you guys do that? You kind of do a mental thing like, you don't want that, put the jacket down. So when the person put the jacket down, I looked at Beth, I said, Beth, I'm so sorry. I see something I want, stay right there. And I just walked the 10 feet and got this jacket. Look how great this is. Do we love this? And it's new with tags. This day was just like a dream in the thrift store because this doesn't happen to me often that I find such good stuff all on one trip to the store. So um, this is Adidas and it's the Add a Color jacket and it's new with tags and it's got kind of like the plush, it's not really Sherpa, it's the plush lining. And what size is this? This is a it says small. I can't imagine that this is a small. Maybe I should try this one on with my white earrings. But yes, to the trifoil, is that how we say this? Adidas has different logos, and I think this is T-R-I-F-O-I-L, trifoil. Probably saying that wrong, but I know it when I see it in print, but because I don't say it out loud, then when I go to say it out loud, I'm like, is that how we pronounce that? But I said yes to this jacket, $10 I paid. I'm guessing this is gonna go between 80 and 100. So great find, Adidas at a color jacket. Okay, so the next item that I found, again on that same rack. Can all the wealthy people just donate their clothing right to my house so I don't have to make the trip? <laughs> that would be wonderful. Is St. John, now this is basics, and it's a medium women's cardigan sweater. Really pretty, just a good basic. St. John has different levels. I don't know the levels. I'll try to think of the levels and bring them to you next time. 
what is it? St. John Basic, St. John Sport, St. John Evening, and maybe just St. John. I'm sure my daughter Melissa would know. She knows all the levels of every brand, I'm convinced. You know, when I hang out with her, I, I just ask her a million questions because even though her memory is not what it used to be, it's still amazing. She knows like QVC brands, she knows all the different brands. So if you get an opportunity to hang out with somebody that knows clothing brands, definitely take advantage and ask them a million questions like I do. But I said yes to St. John basic cardigan sweater. And I really think this is not a medium. This looks so much bigger. I'm wondering if it's, I'll try it on later. Uh, but no fear, this is not really my style, so I won't be keeping it. St. John's Knit has um, a term called Santana Knit. And if you don't know about Santana Knit in St. John brand, you want to Google that. It's kind of like a distinctive feel to their knit. I'm not quite sure why it's called Santana. I never Googled it that far. But Santana is very identifiable when you're going down the clothing rack and it's a touch. You know, it's one of the things you can touch and say, oh, that's St. John Santana knit. So, um, so you want to learn that feel. So we are still on the same clothing rack. I know, I wish they would have just wheeled this rack to my house, but, <laughs> but you have to go out and hunt sometimes. Um, we're three logo tops. So I got this one. It's a tunic with a flyaway. It's not really a flyaway hem. This one has a lace hem. I'll try to show that closer for you after I go through them. This one. And this last one. All the same style. I'm really thinking this wasn't somebody's closet. I'm thinking it was maybe a consignment boutique store. Sometimes I see um, donations if something doesn't sell quick enough for them. You know, it goes through stages. And then I'll see a bulk donate from a boutique store because sometimes it has the boutique store's tags on the item. These did not, but that's my guess. So these three are all logo, which is Lori Goldstein, L-O-R-I-G-O-L-D-S-T-E-I-N, I think, if I remember that correctly. Her items are super soft, beautiful quality, and really nice style. So three tunic tops, and I did want to show you closer the bottom. So this hem is a sweater hem or a stretch knit hem, and I believe all three of these are, uh, are larges. And the first one I showed you has this lace hem. Really pretty. I like stuff like that. And the last one, again, has like a sweater knit, ribbed knit, I should say, hem. So I said yes to three Lori Goldstein logo items. Um, and I paid $4.75 a piece. So this next blouse is J. Crew Mercantile. I like the mercantile line. It has a, I don't know what to call it, um, almost to me like a like an 1800s look, like mercantile, like the store back in the Western days maybe. Could have just made all of that up. But I think that's what, what my eye is seeing. And I said yes to this. I love this print. Okay, I may need to keep this one too. I just want all the things. Can I have all the things? So greedy, uh, size 12. And like I've said in the past, I'm probably a six. I'm going to say generally a six. And yeah, I will wear two X. I will wear one X. I don't care. if, As long as it doesn't fall off my body, if I love it, I'm wearing it. I don't pay attention to size a lot. If my jeans are too big, I put a belt. Of course, if they're too small, I pay attention. I can't get them on. But other than that, I would wear a 12. It doesn't bother me at all. Look how pretty that is. This feels like it's rayon. Let me just check the, the uh, tab for us. This is polyester. So I said yes to this. Really pretty, really peasant, peasant mercantile. The next item, again, has that same peasant boho flare, and this is Karma Highway. Now, I have not looked this up. I've never heard of Karma Highway. No idea what it sells for. I strictly went on the aesthetic of it. How pretty is this? So this is like a corset tied front. You guys see that? Very Western, very like 1800s gold rush. I might even put gold rush in the title. I don't think I've ever used that. I just thought that up. I wonder if people Google that like gold rush clothing. <laughs> but I said yes to this. 
I think I love this because I was a teenager in the 70s and we were very all about the hippie boho thing and I still love that aesthetic so um, that's why I said yes to this all embroidered all beautiful the back ties look at that it's a pull back so um, for 75 I paid for this Guys, just know that if I don't give you prices of what things are going to sell for, it's because my business model is quite different, like I've always said. I'm long tail, I price high, I run crazy sales, sometimes my sales are only 15%, sometimes if I want to move merchandise it's 35%. So I can never give you exactly what my items are going to sell for. When a seller is more like a quick flipper, I think the market is dictating what their items sell for so that they look at the market, they look at comps, and they price just a little bit under to blow it out of their store. Me, I price higher depending on how I feel about the item, and somehow this business model, this crazy model, works for me. So there's just a disclaimer there. If you don't hear me saying the price, I either have no idea what I'm going to list it for, and all of this clothing is not listed yet. Recently, on my last haul or two, you guys were like, hey, I looked for the such and such. Did it sell already? It's like, no, it wasn't listed already. So just know if you're interested in an item to create a search for it and put a notification in your store or your account, and you will be notified when that item gets listed. But for the majority of the time, now this is the majority of the time, not always, my items a lot of times when I'm showing them here on YouTube are not processed yet. I'm bringing this in and I'm making videos about it before it goes into the back inventory room to be sorted and then treated and then photographed. So I hope all that made sense. So none of the items today that you are seeing are listed yet. This next sweater is a Talbot's medium and I've got to get this on quickly. It's a true winter style, snowflake, turtleneck. But I will also use keywords like fair isle, F-A-I-R-I-S-L-E. I'm challenging myself because in real life I'm a horrible speller and I make uh, typos on my listings all the time. You guys are great to correct me. But I will use fair isle, Nordic, ski, all the names to get all the eyes on the sweater but I don't think this will last long I love this sweater I think it's great and I said yes to it sweaters I am paying $5.75 okay so remember how I said the Johnny was top was first that I found the kimono jacket I was wrong this was first I saw this from very far away A pair of jeans they're cropped cuffed and this is what I saw. Yep, from the front door all the way over to the rack. See this hem here? This is called salvage. You wanna look for this type of reverse um, hem. Now these are actually sewn that way. So these are Earl jeans, size six. Uh-oh, I could use some new jeans too. And I said yes to this because people look for this design showing selvage. This selvage design is also on, if I'm not mistaken, old Levi's. When you find the genuine old Levi's that bring a lot of money, I think, don't quote me on this, you guys can look it up. I think a lot of times they have the selvage seam, the inside seam has been made this way, but this is very trendy. Even this probably really exploded on the scene, I'm gonna say three or four years ago, but people still look for it. So Earl jeans, plain pockets, very cute, size six. I'll be trying these on before I list them. And if you don't see them in my store in a couple of days, I probably kept them. Okay, we are moving on to men's clothing. I just have a few pieces. Know that in my back room, I probably have four times this amount, maybe even more right now. I just quickly took some items that I wanted to talk about with you guys, things that are interesting to me or have something to say about. But no, I sell a lot of bread and butter, boring old like navy, blue, you know, Ralph Lauren sweater that I really don't have anything to say about. But let's move on to men's and I'll show you why I picked these up. So the first item that I want to show you is this man's sports coat. I found this in navy blue and I also found it in gray. Two of them. Ready for this tag? Untuck it. Untuck it is a great brand. Their shirts bring very good money. I have never sold the sport jackets. I've never found them. So I'm not sure, but just knowing that the shirts do well, I grabbed these. They are great condition. I don't even know if these are worn. 
I don't see any signs of wear. Now they do need a good steaming, so I will examine them at that time, but I said yes to two men's untuck it sport coats. The next item is a vest, and I tell myself to stop picking up vests. I do well with down puffer vests, but if it's not a down packable travel lightweight vest, Vests do have a tendency to sit, so don't follow what I'm doing here by picking up a lot of vests, unless you're doing your homework. Vests, you really have to know. But I bought this because I want to learn about the name, and I thought this was nice quality. This is C-O-U-L-O-I-R. So how do we say that? Color? Color? I, I think it's color, maybe in a different language. Color? How do we say that? No idea. But I said yes to this. I thought the brand was very good. This is the branding on the back, all embroidered. So very cool. I believe this is men's. I could be wrong about that. But see how the lining, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. The lining has the name. The tag is a, is a good tag, a quality tag. The back is embroidered. The whole thing is quilted. The zippers have the name on the tab. What else? Even the metal tab is branded. When I see that much branding going into an item, I say yes, as long as it's a good price point, which this I paid, I think I paid $6.50 for this. And I believe this is a good brand. Again, I haven't done research, but for the amount that I paid for it, it's worth it to me because even if the brand turns out to be bread and butter, I still can get $20 out of it. So I said yes to this and hopefully I will learn how to say this. You know, there's so many brands out there I don't know how to pronounce. I put it in Google. I say, how to say, and then I put the name. And I listen to it four or five times and I try to repeat it. I might do it again if I have time one day, but I try to learn how to say my brands so that I become more and more familiar with the brand. Google is great, I Google everything. So um, yes to beautiful vests, even though I don't know the brand yet. This next brand, I believe we all know, this is L.L. Bean. Look at this, gorgeous. We love this. This is like a flannel. It's not really like the blanket lining, but really nice plaid men's barn chore coat. I thought this was spectacular. What did I, this is a size medium and I paid $10 for it. So I said yes to this. Patches on the elbow. The next coat that I grabbed was this one here. Beautiful fur trimmed hood and collar. It's like a Parker coat and this is Andrew Mark. It's a woman's extra small. And like I said, it has a few light stains on the front so I will be pre-treating this, removing the fur collar and hood and washing it. Delicate cycle most likely, but I will take a look at it. Now if this needs to be dry cleaned professionally, I will run a series of multiple comps to make sure that I can get my money back out if I put money into it. So beautiful coat, deep olive green. I said yes, and we will see how long this takes to sell. The last item that I wanna talk about is not a big woohoo, but I do well with items like this. This is a two-piece denim, long embroidered, see how far back I can step, long embroidered dress, a sleeveless dress with the jacket top, embroidered with Southwestern. I do very well with these, plain on the back. Now let me just say, when denim clothing is in a larger size, I find it in a larger size, 1X, 2X, 3X, they move quicker for me. So this one, like I said, is a 1X, so that's a great size. But if this was like a medium, I probably still would have picked it up. Southwestern and Western, those two keywords bring attention, and most of the times I do fairly well with those two keywords. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button, and as always, go out and get what's yours.